welcome back to my channel. My name is Colleen, and I am on a journey of self-improvement. Um, as you guys will see, my family has been sick for the past week, week and a half. Uh, it hit my husband, it hit my son. Thankfully, I just felt a little run down for a day or two, but fingers crossed, I don't really get hit with it. I think it's left our house. Uh, so today we are cleaning. But also, we've been living on leftovers and convenience foods because no one's got any energy to cook. Wasn't prepared for this. Um, so right now we're going to do some meal planning. So come along. Okay. I always like to start with what we currently have. This is my fridge. <laughs> um, so dinner tonight, we're just going to clear everything out. We have three random meatballs, got some chicken wings, ham for sandwiches. What is this? Oh, that my husband calls special. It's basically hamburger helper with peas in it, but he loves it. So we got that for tonight. Some yogurt for snacks. That is all drinks. Some lettuce that needs to be used up, some radishes, baby carrots, celery, a whole lot of cheese. Okay, so in here, we've got some hot dogs, ranch, more ham, butter, pepperoni, and a little bit of pasta. Is for it to just be leftovers. Let's get the stuff out of the fridge, be done, start fresh. So I've got pasta, that'll probably be enough for my son. Um, and probably add like a hot dog to that, call it a day, he'll be pretty happy. Um, we have special, which is pretty much that mac and cheese, some ground beef, and some sweet peas. We have I just opened it. Why am I forgetting? Um, we have the chicken wings and we have the meatballs and I know I have frozen veggies. We'll probably just pair, he and I will pick one of those and we'll cut up and have a salad with it. And my son will probably have a little salad with his meal as well. But that is Thursday done. Now, before I go shopping, I always check my freezer. Some little steaks here, some frozen spinach, some veggies, stuff for stock, other, um, got a roast, some frozen chicken stock, more veggies, random breads. So I might pull these and one of us can have meatball subs. So then I saw those two little steaks. I actually cut them up and I put them um, in this marinade, it's just olive oil, soy sauce with some of the McCormick like steak seasoning on it. This will probably be my lunch for tomorrow. I just quickly heat it up because they're small, throw it on a salad, and then that's at least one more meal or lunch for the weekend. So I should get two, maybe three meals out of it if I don't have it be the star of the show. So for Friday, I'm thinking a pork loin with, um, I know I have potatoes, so with mashed potatoes, and I know I have canned green beans or side salad, easy, done. Um, so it's just from Butcher Box. It is hmm, a little under one and a half pounds, so this should be at least one meal for my family, and then probably another lunch um, just because we'll be adding more inexpensive sides to go with it. I got an insulin resistance cookbook for my birthday from my best friend and it had this pork chop recipe in there that my husband and I wanted to make but we couldn't find pork chops but we found this so using what we got. Now for Saturday which is always Saturday or Sunday I'm not sure 
weekends can be kind of hectic because we're prepping for the week. Um, both my husband and I have gone full on New Year's resolution, going to the gym, um, but we signed up and added their little kid center so we can bring our son. So he can kind of play with other kids or really just play a new environment. And then right across the street is the library. So Saturday or Sunday, we tend to take him with us. We both go, we're there for like two hours at the gym. We do our workouts, we hit the sauna, we shower. He plays for those two hours. And then all three of us go right across the street to the library. So that is feeling like a crock pot day. So I found this um, chuck roast. So I'm gonna start defrosting that and we'll see which day it goes with. Um, but I have the baby carrots, I have onions, and I have potatoes. So I'll throw that all into a crock pot and call it done. So I also saw mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and I have open. still good and pizza sauce that we definitely want to start using up. So I'm feeling some homemade pizza. Um, the dough we make tends to make two pizzas so that'll be good if we make that whichever weekend night we don't make the roast. Um, because our family tends to only need one of those pizzas. It's very very filling. Um, there's also some cheese sticks in there so sometimes we'll make like a stuffed cheesy crust, which is delicious. And that will then leave leftovers, easy heat up for lunch Monday or Tuesday while my husband and I are working from home. All right, I'm up to Sunday. Okay. So Mondays tend to be pretty hectic. Um, both of us go to the gym after work. My father-in-law drops my son off at the kid center. We do our workout, we pick him up, and go home. So in there I found a um, leftover like taco soup. So that'll be really easy. I won't pull that until Sunday out of the freezer because it defrosts really fast. And I think I'll just pick up like a tortilla chip to go with it. So we can kind of scoop it out. Um, so we've got sour cream we can add on top of it. We've got cheese we can add on top of it. Easy. Done. Next place we're checking out is the pantry but just will forever be a mess but we have lots of pasta and sauce we also have like two boxes of pancake mix and protein pancake mix so i think for tuesday we'll do chicken waffles um i am doing or trying to do low carb um, so I have that protein pancake mix and I'll probably make my own kind of fried chicken. Why did my head do that? Make my own fried chicken. But for my husband and my son, for the convenience, I'll probably just pick up some chicken tenders. Okay. Wednesday, we always do leftovers, leftovers or sandwiches. So anything from the weekend or anything that we've made that is hitting that like three, four days in the fridge that's getting eaten. It's kind of a smorgasbord. And if we don't have enough stuff, normally we'll make like a grilled cheese or peanut butter and jelly and something very simple because that is our trash tonight. So we always make sure we clear this out to be able to throw anything that's gone bad that we can't eat, molded, ugh, gets thrown away. <laughs> okay. And then for Thursday, we're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna do a pasta night. Um, I don't think I have any more meatballs, um, so, my, so we just won't have them, I guess. But we got pasta sauce, we have plenty of pasta, as you saw, and I might just pick up some garlic bread, or I may make the no-need bread and we'll just make some garlic bread. So if you guys like this, please go ahead and hit this video with a thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe. I will try and do more of these, kind of give you guys some ideas to hit up what's in your freezer, fridge, pantry, using what you have before you go to the grocery store. 
Um, doing this actually forced me to make my list, and now I know we should be able to keep our next week's grocery budget under $30. Um, we'll probably pick up like apple, banana, something um, to kind of snack on. But for the most part, we're good. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I hope you got as much out of this as I did. <laughs> um, go ahead and comment down below what you're making this week. See if that leaves any inspiration to others. Well, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.